This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. How do you feel great on vacation? Like really good? Easy. You go to Aruba. You'll spend your time relaxing on cool white sand beaches and floating in healing blue water. You'll immerse yourself in natural wonder and find your center on an island where things move at your speed. You won't just feel great. You'll feel relaxed, renewed, and ready for life. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your trip at aruba.com. It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 2476, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Welcome back to another Friday show where I answer your questions. On all the other days, I read health and fitness blogs to you like an audiobook, with permission from the authors, of course. Now, once a month, usually during the first Q&A episode of the month, I mention a bit about my background and my credentials so you can better understand where my perspectives come from. And given this is the first Q&A of the month, it's time. So I've always been obsessed with Batman, but I wasn't always interested in nutrition, exercise, health, and wellness. Basically, I was not interested in any of the things I talk about now, but being diagnosed with a chronic disease at the age of 19 definitely changed my life's purpose. It was then I decided to focus my attention on helping others so that no one else had to experience a chronic disease diagnosis like I did, especially at that young age. In order to do that, I wanted to make sure I had credibility. This is not meant to be a humble brag, but instead gain your trust. I received both my master's and doctoral degrees in public health. And to make sure I covered all of my bases, I also became a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified health education specialist, and a certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine. I've been teaching in higher education for a long time now, and I'm currently faculty within the California State University system. I've published many peer-reviewed studies, I've presented at national conferences, and international conferences, and have been interviewed by over 70 different media outlets for my expertise on basically all the things I talk about on this podcast. Again, all of this to not brag, but to say that when I provide my commentary after each episode, and I answer the questions you send in, like today, I hope you feel as though it's coming from a place of truth. My only intention is to help you feel your best. Now, I'll let you know how you can send in your own question at the end of the show and get rewarded for it. But before I get to that, I wanted to be sure I wished my brother, Justin, of the Optimal Living Daily Podcast, a very happy birthday. And now with that, let's finally hear today's question and start optimizing your life. Hi, Dr. Neil. I know it's important for circadian rhythms and for mood to get exposure to sunlight. I'm in the Northeast. It's very difficult to do. So we've had a particularly gray winter and I've noticed my mood is lower than is usual. So I am purchasing a happy light, light therapy lamp. And I just wanted to ask your opinion on whether or not you thought this was hocus pocus or whether it was effective. Thank you in advance. Thank you so much for taking the time to send in your question, Cheryl. And I'm so sorry to hear that you've been experiencing seasonal affective disorder symptoms. Let me first describe in more detail what seasonal affective disorder is. First, we'll often see seasonal affective disorder referred to by its acronym. SAD or SAD. It is an interesting coincidence that one of the most common symptoms of SAD is overwhelming feelings of sadness. But what's different about seasonal affective disorder or SAD is the time of year it tends to set in. So instead of just experiencing depression all year round, seasonal affective disorder tends to happen during the winter months. And in fact, That's what researchers have found. According to many published studies, seasonal affective disorder is seasonal in that people tend to experience symptoms like overwhelming sadness and depression during the fall or winter seasons. Then, 
by spring and summer, these feelings tend to go away. Oh, and the term affect in seasonal affective disorder, that's just a fancy way of saying feelings. So seasonal affective disorder just means seasonal feelings disorder. So what can trigger seasonal affective disorder? When we think about events that often happen in the fall and winter months, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, we think about going back to school, then the holidays. This can be a stressful time for many of us. We know that stress can lead to sadness and depression. But scientists found that the stress of fall and winter didn't completely explain why some experienced these feelings. They thought it may be related to how much light we're exposed to. In the fall and winter, days are shorter. So we don't see the sun as much as we do in the spring and summer months. And human beings are very sensitive to light. We know that if it's light outside, it's harder for us to fall asleep. By the way, that's why most healthcare professionals recommend staying away from electronic devices soon before bed. But what if the opposite happens? Meaning, we don't get enough light during the day. It seems like it's dark out all the time. Well, it seems this may also mess with our sleep. So it's possible that less light exposure throughout the day messes with our circadian rhythm or our sleep-wake pattern. And we know that a lack of sleep or poor quality sleep can also lead to sadness and depression. So what if we could trick the body and brain by exposing both to more light? This is where the idea of light exposure or bright light therapy began to be studied. Basically, we use artificial light as a substitute for sunlight to try and trick the body and brain and keep our circadian rhythms or our sleep-wake patterns functioning normally, like they do in the spring and summer months. Now, we have to ask, will any bright light work to help with symptoms of seasonal affective disorder? No, not necessarily. It seems we have to expose the body and brain to enough of the right kind of light for enough time each day, and the time of day we're exposed to this light might make a difference. So, to make our lives easier, companies have created light therapy boxes. These devices are basically like lamps, but lamps that are specially designed to help treat seasonal affective disorder. But for it to actually work, we need to find a lamp or light therapy box that provides 10,000 lux of light and with as little UV light as possible. So let's say we found one that has these exact specifications. We now need to make sure we're using it correctly. Most healthcare professionals recommend that we use the light therapy box within the first hour of waking up in the morning. We don't need to keep it super close to our faces. It's recommended we keep the light therapy box anywhere from 16 to 24 inches away or about 40 to 60 centimeters. Then, stay in that general area for 20 to 30 minutes. Don't go back to sleep. It's important to keep your eyes open but without looking directly at the light box. You can do other things while you're near the light box, like eating, making phone calls, reading, checking emails, watching television, and so on. Just don't stare directly at the light box. Now, these light boxes are not regulated by any of our usual health-related organizations, like the Food and Drug Administration in the US. So that means, if you're shopping for one, it's important to find a product that provides 10,000 lux of light with as little UV light as possible. Your healthcare provider might be able to help you find the right one. Now, does bright light therapy work? According to many published studies, yes. In fact, bright light therapy is considered by many healthcare professionals as the first line of treatment for seasonal affective disorder when it's used correctly. In fact, in those who respond well to it, bright light therapy can reduce depression symptoms within a week. We should also keep in mind that for some, bright light therapy may work even better when combined with medications and therapy. So again, talking with your healthcare provider is important if you think you experience seasonal affective disorder symptoms. Oh, and I should mention finally that depending on where we live, even if there's lots of cloud cover outside and the day looks particularly gray, we are still exposed to about 10,000 lux of light. 
a sunny day provides about 50,000 lux. So if we happen to be outside, even on a gray day, like say going for a walk, it provides about as much as light as a bright light box. Hey, you knew I had to mention something about nutrition or exercise before ending this post, right? So going for a 20 to 30 minute walk outside even on a gray day may provide about as much light as a bright light box. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Taste the Mediterranean through March 19th at Whole Foods Market. Save on animal welfare certified bone and beef short ribs, sustainable wild-caught sockeye salmon, and more. Find sales on Parmigiano-Reggiano, charcuterie and ground lamb. Grab an olive bull bread from the bakery. Plus, wines from the Mediterranean start at just $8.99. Taste the Mediterranean now at Whole Foods Market. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. Thank you again for taking the time to send in your audio question, Cheryl. Now, if you want to send your questions in, you can email them to health at oldpodcast.com. That's health at oldpodcast.com. Or if you want your voice played on the show, just like Cheryl, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. Or you could do it the old-fashioned way and call in your question. The number is 161-I-LOVE-OHD. That's 1-614-568-3643. Now, if you send in a relevant question and you're in the U.S., we'll physically mail you a copy of our hardcover Optimal Living Daily Workbook for free. If you're outside the U.S., we'll send you a digital version. And I appreciate so much you sending in your questions. Answering them is one of my favorite parts of the show. All right, that's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening every day and all the way through. I hope you have a great start to your weekend and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.